This iteration of Dragon Quest Mobile was released on cell phones in Japan only in 2006. There are no known videos of this game in action, except for the screenshots from Woodis.com. First up, graphics. Based on these screenshots, the graphics look beautiful, nearly as good as the PlayStation 1 remakes. They're more of a mixture of the remakes and Dragon Quest Monsters Caravan Heart for the Game Boy Advance. But to make graphics this beautiful for such a tiny cell phone screen, it makes me wonder how difficult it was to control your character and what the frames per second were on the game itself. Notice how sometimes the player is a girl and in other screenshots the player is a boy. Could you choose your gender, I wonder? Towers from the second game also appeared in this game, and the fact that you can make the comparison shows loyalty to the second game's style, which I appreciate. In screenshots number 10, it looks as though you could take control of your monsters and travel an overworld map. The monster in the screenshot looks like Dragon Kid to me. Screenshot 22 appears to show Mamonja and King Slime breeding? Or one giving the other a gift? It's hard to tell, but cool looking that this occurred while in the overworld map. I'll show the rest of the screenshots without commentary, just wanted to point out some interesting things I noticed. Next is, would I play it? Right now, absolutely. I love Dragon Quest Monsters and have ever since the first game came out. I'm kind of disappointed seeing as how I wanted the actual gameplay video that I recorded, or at least videos of someone playing it. If you find any on the Japanese version of YouTube, let me know so I can update the video. Last year I did a review of two Dragon Quest Monsters mobile games. At first I originally thought they were the same game. Later it turns out one came out in 2002 and another came out in 2006. The one that came out in 2006 didn't connect to any of the other games such as Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 1 for the DS, Joker 2 for the DS, or the PlayStation 1 remakes of Dragon Quest Monsters 1 and 2. I found the link to the website for this game, again, on Woodis.com, and decided to go back to it to see if I could translate some of the pages. What I translated was kind of interesting, but kind of a major letdown. On the homepage, you'll see an Arab dude named Osama with a blog text above his head. You click that, and you see some blog posts from long ago. While very confusing to me, it appears that the blog posts are a mixture of people that actually worked on the game, worked on the website, and people that actually play the game, sending messages back and forth to each other. Like I said, it's very confusing as to what the heck is going on in these supposed blog posts. I'm going to read two of them to you, so you can get an understanding of what I'm talking about. A new region has appeared on the cooperative trip. That's right, today on February 23rd, the wetland and volcanic regions appeared. Let's go to Me Too. When I thought about it, I changed the UIM, so now I am desperately trying to redo the new Dragon Quest Monsters Mobile crying face. My favorite, Takatsubo Bokozo, is no longer in my possession. However, I can play the cooperative trip even if I am a beginner level, so I don't feel like I've missed the flow yet, but now I'm working hard in the forest area. Let's have a party member take us to the new region. Everyone please enjoy Dragon Quest Monsters Mobile even more. Post 2. Daimijaim, Moso Moso, Walla Walla. Shira, Rat, No, it's been a long time. It's been three months since the new monster appeared in April. Oh, if you notice it, it's already the rainy season. Han? When will the rest of the monsters come out? Killerin. Dear monster lovers, don't worry, I'm doing something in the middle of a mess. I can't tell you the details of Moso Moso yet, but if you just let me know about Chibicho. No! Wow! Ha! I. Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Anaconda Sana. Out so, out so, this kind of feeling. Hmm? No. It's fun. And there were around 20 other blog posts just like that where some of it related to the game and told you a new monster appeared or a new area was unlocked, but a lot of it was just random garble like that. There was even a post that talked about a guy getting swine flu and having to wear a mask. Yeah, that's how old this website is. And that's how relevant it is to today. Going to the actual Square Enix link not through Wayback Machine yields this message. When translated, it says this. 
Notice of Termination of Dragon Quest Mobile Service 331. Thank you for using Dragon Quest Mobile. All services of Dragon Quest Mobile have been terminated on Saturday, March 31st, 2018. After Sunday, April 1st, 2018, Dragon Quest Mobile membership information, income points, purchase history, etc., and installed apps will not be available. Some download contents, Deco Mail, Standby, Chaku Uta, etc., can continue to be used even after the service ends. But please note, we cannot guarantee the operation of all contents. Thank you for your patronage of many customers since the service started. We look forward to your continued support of Square Enix. In August of 2021, a user by the name of Naoya Shanota on Woodis.com posted information about phones that had these games on them. Dragon Quest III Trial and Dragon Quest Monsters Mobile The Mysterious Dungeon, which was mentioned briefly in a prior video. They said, I love that somebody takes the time to research this. I hope that this can help. I've been searching for a game called Before Crisis Final Fantasy VII. This game was distributed by Square Enix Mobile for iMode. This game has suffered the same as Dragon Quest Mobile. While I haven't found the game yet, I did find three Dragon Quest games. I have a lot to share. I have info on locations of where you can get other ones too. But do know that if you are able to play them now, it may be a demo version. Details on how to find it and where will be revealed shortly as I make sure that I provide the correct details. There's much to talk about. Let's talk about the phone I found the games on. Model. Decomo P-01B. This phone should come with a pre-installed with the following games. 1. Dragon Quest 3 Trial Version. This game is a demo version, but it is still playable. 2. Dragon Quest Mysterious Dungeon Mobile. My app requires downloading data from the servers, so as of now it is nothing but a proof of existence until a extraction method is available. Where to find a cell phone like this? If you live outside of Japan, you can use a service called Baiyi to purchase items from Makari Japan and Yahoo Auctions. This will be a much better place to buy these type of phones from instead of eBay. But do check eBay just to be sure, cause you never know. A picture of Dragon Quest 3 Mobile. A picture of what I assume to be this game. A picture of the game's icon on the phone menu or the Dungeon Companion app. They continued their message with, Does the full version exist and is it playable? The full version does exist on some cell phones out there. If the SIM card that purchased the phone is still inserted in the phone, then the game should be playable. But I'm not sure as Japanese people have shared little to none info or game about this that I have seen so far. And to answer anybody's question, yes, data extraction methods are being looked into, but it will take time due to the lack of research on these phones. I have more knowledge of where to find the other games, but will need to further investigate to make sure if my sources are correct. So it was not a major game, it was just a game that people could play together on mobile cell phones and possibly on computer and laptops. That's really it. That's all I've been able to find. And that's good enough for me. Now time for more differences between Dragon Warrior Monsters for the Game Boy Color and Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow. In Dragon Warrior Monsters, your monster's max level cap increases the more you breed it with other monsters, with a known maximum level of 99. In Pokemon, all monsters max level is 100 by default. In Pokemon, you can teach Pokemon moves via TMs and HMs. In Dragon Warrior Monsters, your monsters can only learn moves via level up and breeding. In Pokemon, moves are learned at set levels for each monster. In Dragon Warrior Monsters, in order to learn moves, a monster must have a certain amount of MP, intelligence, and level requirement met. That's all in this episode. Watch my next video to learn about more differences between Dragon Warrior Monsters and Pokemon.